It is true that your body needs glucose, which is a form of sugar to survive. However, eating added sugars is where issues arise. You do not need to eat glucose or other sugars because your body makes it from your food. Unfortunately, the modern diet is full of sugar and ultra-processed foods which disrupts the body's natural balance. What's even worse is that most people consume ultra-processed foods daily thinking they're consuming healthy meals. In today's video, we'll start by discussing the little-known effects of consuming sugar. Then we'll move on to the effects of consuming ultra-processed foods based on recent findings and end by explaining how to spot or know ultra-processed foods, even the ones masked as healthy. When you consume sugar, your brain gets a surge of dopamine, which is often referred to as the feel-good hormone. It gives you a sense of pleasure and motivates you to keep doing whatever brings that pleasure. This is the reason why you never hear most people say they crave a celery stick, because whole foods like fruits and veggies don't cause the brain to release as much dopamine as when you consume sugars or processed foods. Research suggests that increased sugar consumption, which causes chronic systemic inflammation, insulin resistance, and a disrupted dopamine-related signaling system, contributes to sugar's detrimental impact on mental health. In fact, several studies have shown that individuals who consume more of added sugars per day had a significantly greater risk of depression when compared with those who consume whole foods and vegetables. Added sugar has also been linked to cognitive decline and degenerative disorders such as Alzheimer's disease and dementia. Consuming added sugar can also hinder collagen repair. Collagen is the protein that keeps your skin looking plump. A lack of collagen leads to thinner skin and skin aging. Consistently consuming meals high in sugar can result in reduced elasticity, poor wound healing, and premature wrinkles. Think of it this way. If you put a banana on the counter and peel it, within 24 to 48 hours, it gets brown. The sugars in that banana are reacting with proteins, causing cross-linking and the brown color, also known as browning reaction. The same reaction happens in our bodies. Sugar causes cross-linking of collagen, resulting in stiffening and loss of elasticity. The more sugar we have, the more our skin suffers. Other ways consuming high sugar diets impact your health include increasing your risk of type 2 diabetes, heart disease, cancer, fatty liver disease, and weight gain. According to a recent 2024 study published in the British Medical Journal, high intake of ultra-processed foods, particularly processed meats, sugary breakfast foods, and sugar, or artificially sweetened beverages, can increase the risk of early death. According to the study, participants who consumed the least ultra-processed food of any kind ate three servings per day. Participants who consumed the most ate around seven servings per day. Over the course of the study period, 48,193 participants died from causes such as cancer, cardiovascular diseases, respiratory diseases, and neurodegenerative diseases. The study found that participants who ate the most ultra-processed food of any kind faced a 4% higher risk of all-cause mortality, as well as an 8% higher risk of mortality from neurodegenerative diseases than those who ate the least ultra-processed food. Processed meat was the type of food most strongly associated with increased risk of all-cause mortality. Sugar and artificially sweetened beverages, dairy-based desserts, and ultra-processed breakfast foods also showed associations with higher all-cause mortality. Now, the term ultra-processed food comes from the NOVA food classification system. According to this system, foods are placed into four categories based on how much they have been processed during their production. The four categories are, number one, unprocessed or minimally processed foods, which include produce, such as fruit, vegetables, milk, fish, pulses, eggs, nuts, and seeds that have no added ingredients and have been little altered from their natural state. Number two, processed ingredients. This includes foods that are added to other foods rather than eaten by themselves, such as salt, sugar, butter, lards, and oils. Number three, processed foods. These are foods that are made by combining foods from category one and two, which are altered in a way that home cooks could do themselves. They include foods such as jam, pickles, tinned fruit and vegetables, bacon, tinned fish, salted nuts, homemade breads, and cheeses. Number four, ultra-processed foods. Ultra-processed foods typically have more than one ingredient that you never or rarely find in a kitchen. They also tend to include many additives and ingredients that are not typically used in home cooking, such as preservatives, emulsifiers, sweeteners, 
and artificial colors and flavors. These foods generally have a long shelf life. They include ice cream, ham, sausages, crisps, mass-produced bread, some breakfast cereals, biscuits, carbonated drinks, fruit-flavored yogurts, instant soups, and some alcoholic drinks including whiskey, gin, and rum. Ultra-processed foods often contain high levels of saturated fat, salt, and sugar. And when we eat them, we leave less room in our diets for more nutritious foods. Experts have also suggested that the additives in these foods could be responsible for negative health effects. The actual processing of the food could also make a difference to how our bodies respond to it. Studies have shown, for example, that when foods such as nuts are eaten whole, the body absorbs less of the fat than when the nut is ground down and the oils are released. Another new theory is that diets higher in ultra-processed foods could also affect our gut health. Research suggests that overall diet quality is ultimately what matters most to health. Ultra-processed foods are a diverse category with many items that are considered healthy. Therefore, it is of utmost importance for individuals to limit their consumption of ultra-processed foods and high-sugar meals.